Hello everyone, my name is Nicole with LadyPreferstoSave.com and today I am bringing you my week two pre-training update for the Body Boss Method. This week, guys, has been super quick and I'm really excited about a few things that have gone on this week. First, let's discuss some of the exercise and some of the changes that I've made and then get into later in the video some of my victories and everything else that's gone on. So first, some of the challenges. Of course, the challenges including the exercises themselves, the body ball system, you know, as any workout method system is usually based on a series of books. This is no exception. My book system has not actually come in, but I do have an online resource for the majority of the pre-training exercises, so that really hasn't been an issue. And this week, I really loved and I'm looking at my screen here at some of the notes that I made. I have really enjoyed the crossover knee push-ups. They were really, really fun. They weren't as challenging as I thought they would be. And so I actually did about 10 more than my normal reps called for. So I believe 30 uh, reps of each one on uh, three days this week. And that was really fun. I also really liked the glute bridges, the walking lunges and the shoulder fly. And then the surprising twist this week, I really, really enjoyed the Russian twists. They were really fun. They were easier than I thought. And I had seen a lot of the reviews for the system on uh, YouTube from other YouTubers and on Facebook Live. And they said, oh, how difficult these were gonna be. And I really didn't find them that difficult, but I really liked the progress that I was making with them. And I think that was the one exercise that kind of really took my working out this week to the next level. They were the exercise that within a couple hours of doing them, I could start to feel some progress in uh, some toning and, and in my midsection. And I think they really helped me work on my core and really align my core and straighten up this week. And so I really, really liked the Russian twist. One exercise that was a little more challenging for me this week were the high knee skips. They were a little bit uh, difficult for me because as a teenager, I had had a surgery on one of my ankles after um, a tennis match. And so in doing that, sometimes I could feel a little bit of resistance in uh, my joints and in my ankle, and that's just something just kind of working through, and I made sure to um, heat and ice afterwards, and so it was fine with that, but that's something that I'm going to have to work towards this week is really kind of working past any of the anxiety with the high knee skips, but I still enjoyed them. Another area this week that was a victory was the continuation of my meal planning and my meal prepping. I have really enjoyed being able to use two and three section meal planning trays for my weekly meal plans. I was able to use some of the suggested meal options from the Body Boss method, including what size um, non-starchy vegetables and tubers to consume, as well as a lot of the meals are centered around seeds like quinoa, and so that's really been helpful for me to use that as the base for my meals. I also really like a lot of their suggestions for vegetables because they coincide with whole food plant-based diet in the moving away of processed foods in lieu of foods that are wholesome and more filling for you. Now, something that I have also really enjoyed are the inclusion of the morning smoothies, and that's something that for a while I would alternate between my juice and my smoothies, and so now I'm trying to make a point of somehow calorically getting them both in, and that's something that I'm going to have to figure out as the weeks go on with the system and throughout 2018, because on my journey of veganism, I would alternate between my clean green juices and my smoothies. And so that's something that I'm going to have to figure out between the two of them. But in terms of meal planning and meal prepping, this system has been wonderful. I love being able to, on Sundays, prep my food through Wednesday and then Wednesday through Saturday, and then have on Sunday the same type of meal, but just kind of cooking it fresh while I'm prepping everything else for the week. So that's worked out really, really well. Again, I use the two and three section trays that I will link in the description bar below. Normally I would say only using mason jars is the way to go, but for me, I enjoy now having two and three compartment meal trays just so that I know that I don't have to like 
pull out more and more accoutrement to get the proper measuring. I do still weigh my food with a food scale and use a one cup Hyrex glass, which I will link all those items below that I use, but I really like having a basis of a guide, again, for the non-starchy veggies and the quinoa when I'm doing my weekly meal planning. Now, a few of the challenges that I have had this week has just centered around time management and getting back into a fitness routine. I will be honest, on Monday in starting my plan, I went in to do pre-training on day one, really enjoyed the lunges and some other things, and then started to get really tired very quickly. And it's something that I realized I thought I could breeze through this system. I thought that it wouldn't be as high impact as it was. And not that that's really an issue, but someone who is overweight, it's definitely something that I thought it would be a little bit easier than it was, but I'm definitely taking it as a challenge. And so I will have to work at that extra hard. And it's not just something that I can take a, you know, a latte in there with me, set it down, put on an episode of Frasier and knock it out in just a few minutes. It's not that kind of workout. It's something I really need to aspire to work harder at and be more intentional with. And so that's something I'm definitely gonna have to do this week. Another challenge this week is the use of scales and measuring. I normally don't weigh myself at home. I don't feel the need to do that. I don't like to use the scale as a form of accountability. I feel that it can be a little self-defeating if the numbers on the scale aren't quite what you wanna see from week to week, but it is something that I have used this week and so I will have to get back into that mindset of not just training, but tracking my weight and not just you know, I can visibly see that I've lost a size or I'm down to a different pant size, but to just be more intentional with using the scale but not getting obsessive about the numbers that I'm seeing. Also this week, I have started using, again, seamstress tape to measure my uh, core and biceps and triceps and thighs and knees and ankles and, you know, different parts of my body, very mismazel to see if I have any progress this week. And so I have really uh, had to step back and to think about that and to realize that, you know, for a long time, I was part of, of, of the group of people in the world that were, we don't need to measure, we don't need to weigh, we're just gonna live healthy and eat better. And, and while I did, that really didn't make as big an impact as I thought that it would. And so as part of my Body Boss Method System journey, I will be using my seamstress tape to chart my progress. And so again, that's just accountability. That's just changing my mindset. And that's just reworking the way that I am measuring and training myself each week. I have decided that I'm not going to measure myself until the end of each week, right before I do my video. And that way I'm not going to see a small amount of progress or a huge amount of progress in terms of the visibility of the tape or the scale to determine my mood for the day and going into my workouts. I wanna just have that as a, oh, I'm gonna be accountable on YouTube and tell everyone then. So for me, it's just gonna be another tool in the arsenal and not something that will derail my progress for the entire week. And so with the idea of accountability and measurement in mind, I would like to report that this week I have lost three total pounds and a half an inch off of my thighs. And so for me, I'm gonna consider that a victory. I know some people in their pre-training have lost as much five, six pounds in the first week, but for me, I'm gonna consider a pound loss while still feeling healthy and being able to have more energy throughout the day to be a great thing for me. And so my takeaway from week one was this. There's a lot of exercises that are awesome and that I'm gonna be able to easily do. I need to put more time into the high knee skips I've really enjoyed the Russian twist. I'm great with my weight loss progress this week. I'd like to up my consumption of water to round about a gallon. Also this week, I want to make sure that I am maintaining not just those 10,000 steps, but being more active and not having any excuses in doing so. Because in my area, it has been uber, uber cold and then really, really warm. In fact, we had a snow advisory and a tornado watch in the same week. So I wanna make sure that I am planning to have plenty of time on my home gym, on my treadmill and on my gazelle and really working inside and having zero excuses and having timers set 
in all my devices. So I know from this time I'm going to be intentionally working here and then I'm going to be doing this. And last but not least, something that I have not done and I definitely think I should do before I do my workouts each morning, I want to make sure that I am centering myself. I want to start with just a few minutes of yoga. I'm thinking maybe even five to seven minutes, just a little bit of meditation in the morning, just to kind of center my focus each day and then move on to my body boss method. And then I'm even thinking maybe two days a week, include some kind of Pilates as a cool down into my workout. I really haven't figured out how that's going to go yet, but I'm hoping in the next week or two, I'll definitely have a system because what I would like to do overall is take the body boss method and figure out what's going to really work for me and what hasn't. And then at the end of those 20 weeks to have this formulated system that I know will work for me. And so I'm really excited to be able to not only figure that out, be more intentional this week to do all of this very economically, as well as having my focus always on not just better health, but more intentionality in my self-care and my workout routines at home. So guys, that was my progress this week for week two of pre-training with the Body Boss Method system. Also, I wanted to mention again that Roxanne from The Guy's Life is also doing this system, and I will link her playlist in the description bar below, so be sure to go ahead and check her out as well and give her some love because she is an awesome, awesome YouTuber and mom, and she is trying to get back into the best shape of her life, and we all could use some encouragement, so let's definitely, definitely spread the kindness community to Roxanne because she is awesome. And as always, everyone, I want you to have a wonderful, wonderful week ahead. I thank you so much for watching and please be kind to yourself and to others and have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Thanks for watching, guys.